Okay, today what I'd like to do is teach everyone how to trace images in um, Autodesk Sketchbook. So we're going to pick an image, and I found this one of Plankton, and I brought him into um, the program, resizing him, and I'm going to create a new layer. I want to lock the other layer so that I don't mess it up, but just sometimes what I like to do is change the opacity of this layer so I can trace right over the top. Now this is a good lesson for when you are trying to teach students or if you're a student and you'd like to learn uh, the program and um, I think it's a pretty good lesson for that. Um, it's not really very creative, although for my students I have them create a background from scratch and so they could be creative with that. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'm trying to trace this um, image and to do that um, I try to trace it as neat as possible but I need a little bit of help from the program and um, there is an icon at the top, it's a little squiggly line that will auto adjust what it thinks your line should be so if you're drawing like a straight line, it'll help you with that straight line. Or if it's curved, it might smooth it out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just tracing over this. Now, I did not change the opacity of the back here. I probably should do that so I could see the lines of drawing a little bit better. And I will do that eventually. Um, but I'm trying to draw some of these lines here. And you can see I'm drawing it on the other layer. I want to draw all the black lines on this first layer. Now I can draw other parts of the um, image on other layers and then I can uh, merge those later if I want. And so some images you have to draw the parts on different layers and merge them. Some of them you can draw them on one or two layers. Now right here you see that I I was going to draw the eye and I realized you know I got to make a new layer for this because I have to be able to adjust this eye and if I don't do it that way I'll be moving lots of things. So I'm using the um, circular tool and the adjustment tool to adjust it to the right shape. And once I've done that, I just merge it down into the other one. And it just makes it a little bit easier to separate it into a different layer and then merge it into the lower layer. Now here what I did was I went ahead and uh, changed the opacity so I could see what I've got so far. I could also turn off that layer just to see what I have. Um, but you can do it either way. Sometimes I think making the opacity a little bit less is better. Um, but you can decide. Right here I'm deciding on the right tool to draw the eyebrow. And I went ahead and went with the pen tool because the uh, brush tool wasn't quite working out. And you can see when I draw uh, my lines are a little bit shaky and I'm changing um, this tool to help me um, get the right line, but I have to remember to leave that tool on. Sometimes I want to turn it off because it's in my way, and then I forget it's not helping me. So that auto-adjust tool is not helping if you turn it off. And so um, sometimes I just forget about that. I turn it off, and I wonder why my lines are not auto-adjusting. It's because I haven't turned it off. And so uh, you may have to make sure that you leave that on, even though it's kind of in your way. Um, it is helpful. If you don't draw a line right, just draw it again. I know that these Apple Pencils or your finger, well your finger might, you might have more control, but the Apple Pencils tend to slip on the glass, so it's hard to draw those lines. Now here's where the autocorrect is not working for me. You can see I keep on trying it and it's not helping, so I changed the tolerance to a little bit lower to see if I can get more of what I want. And you know, if I can't get it, I can always just draw it without this tool. So um, you just have to try some things. So don't worry about if it doesn't quite work. You know, try it again. Um, undo and try it again. So I almost have all my black lines done here. You can see I'm erasing parts of it that I didn't like and I'm going to try to fix them. You know, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, we're just learning some of these skills so that when we go to make more creative artworks, 
uh, we will do a better job at uh, drawing them. And you can see right here, I really struggled with these antennas. I just couldn't quite get them right. And uh, yeah, it was that was kind of tough. But when you build these, and that's what you're doing, you're building these little images, you have to figure out how to construct them. Because um, sometimes you will have to draw them on many layers, and sometimes you can get away with just a few layers. But generally what I do is I merge them all together when I'm done. Obviously, I'm not going to merge the original artwork. I'll just delete that or turn that off so I can't see it. It's not visible anymore. But you will have to do that um, eventually. So here I'm also trying to figure out how do I want to do these little lines here. And I, I do it. And I'm like, I'm not happy with it. I'm going to try something else. So I eventually decided to draw them really big and then use the eraser and erase the edges so I get a sharper edge. Um, and sometimes you have to get creative in the way you, you, know, you make these. And again, I'm not worried about that they're absolutely perfect. This lesson really is just to build some skills and to practice drawing. It is not really meant as uh, something that has to be really, really precise. You can see that I'm changing the size of the pen tool by dragging that slider up and down. And um, sometimes it takes a while to get it quite you know, perfectly. Now basically I have all the uh, black lines done. Um, now it's a matter of doing some filling. And you can see I made a duplicate of this, of the layer. So I have two outlines and I want to use that in case I have to fill under a certain area. Um, remember that if you dump paint in and you have an opening somewhere, that could cause a problem, so you may have to go back and make sure that you're closing in those areas. And there I go, I fix it right there. Um, if you still can't find those little paths, make sure you're on the right layer. You don't know how many times I've been on the wrong layer and I'm trying to um, fill the area in. I don't know why it's not working and I'm like on the wrong layer. Like right now, I'm on the wrong layer and I don't realize it yet. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? I keep doing it. There's something wrong. And then eventually I realize, hey, I'm on the wrong layer. That's not going to work. So if that happens to you, that's probably the issue. Now you can also use the color picker to pick the colors. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the color picker to pick the original colors so that I can just dump those into those areas and it does make it a lot easier. Now I need to make the uh, pupil of the eye and I think I'm going to do that on another layer. And again sometimes you have to do that and just merge it down. So it looks like I just have a little bit more to do with the eye. Um, I've got my new layer. I gotta make sure I draw it on the correct layer. Again that's a problem. I'm not on the correct layer yet. And I'm going to realize that here in a minute. And so I just realized it right there. I got to get on the right layer. So I create another layer. And so I'm just figuring out how to do it. And I made the oval and then I'm going to adjust that to get the right size, dump some color in there, and then just take a little bit of uh, white you do with an eraser. And change the size of that just to make it the right size and in a pretty good shape. Now it's just a matter of changing the color and I'm almost done. So there it is. There's my eye. Let's put it into place. Okay, I'm getting there. I changed the opacity back to get the color. Oops, this is the wrong. I was on the wrong layer. I do that a lot, and you'll do that sometimes too. And I just about got it. I've got to colorize the uh, antenna, and oops, dumped it in, and then this last portion I'm just going to um, color in with a pen 
not something I like to do because it's not as accurate, but uh, for this, it'll be better. So I'm just going to color that in, and I'm just about done. I can merge all the layers if I want, and then delete the original one. Okay, for my students, they'll have to create a creative background, and then Plankton is done.